Science Neta again with the supply guide. And now that we have your Arbor Press assembled, I'd like to demonstrate to you on how to use the Arbor Press. One of the great things about this product is how easy it is to use. It's going to really reduce your waste and increase your efficiency in stamping. No longer are the days of hand stamping and doing the one whack and oh shoot, my blank shifted, I got a double image or it didn't set all the way in and then you can't reset it. You're gonna get rid of all those kind of things by using the Arbor Press. So, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put your safety glasses on so that we can be safe in all that we do. I've got a couple different stamps I'm gonna demonstrate for you today. And if you saw the video on how to assemble it, we went ahead and put the square in down on the press. Uh, again, just a reminder that square in can accommodate both a round stamp and a square stamp. So if you're going to be going back and forth, we always suggest putting that square side down. It's just going to make it more efficient for you. Um, we're currently using a folding table to do our video. We really suggest you use a, a sturdy surface, maybe a workbench um, to use this so that, so that you don't have any give in your table. And if you're not sure, always put it over the leg of the table. That'll make it a little bit more uh, of a hard surface for you. So when you go to load your stamp, it's super easy. I'm going to use a very small square stamp right now. And the base of the press actually moves. So you can just move that and open up this space that's going to make you load your stamp so much easier. So your stamp goes in, and I like to just kind of push all the way to the back corner. So if I'm looking at it, go back left, and that seems to square it up the best. And then that right set screw, that screw right here on the right hand side, that's your set screw, and I can hand tighten that. But I personally like to have a little 10 millimeter socket. You don't need the whole socket wrench, just the socket piece. Just to tighten that just a little bit more than I can hand tighten it to make sure that, that stamp is in there nice and straight and tight. So it looks like we're good to go there. And now you're ready to stamp. So whatever your materials you're using, I'm just gonna use some blanks. Um, I'm gonna lift that stamp, that, I'm gonna lift that up a little bit more so I can get my stamping surface down. And again, this thing moves depending on what you're stamping. Uh, there's different surface area sizes that you need. I've just got a simple blank here that I'm going to demonstrate for you. So I'm going to move this one over to that one. And then I just line up where I want that, depending on what I'm making, a necklace or a word or a name. I'm just going to line that stamp up. And here's another great thing when you're using the press is you can actually see from this angle where it's at versus having to look down on it when you're hand stamping. So I'm going to get that in position. And for this size of a stamp or the type of material I'm using, this leverage right here is probably going to be plenty of torque to get that image down. Now the handle moves and if you need to you can even tighten this handle up with this thing here on the end and that will fix the handle. I personally like to leave it loose so that I can move it and adjust it. Once your stamp is set you're just going to give that a little bit of torque, a little bit of leverage and that should be plenty to uh, press a clean image based on what material you're using and the size stamp you're using. So that was just a simple heart. It turned out great. You can't see that in the video but that's how easy it is. So then to demonstrate a bigger stamp, so this is quite a bit bigger stamp and a much more intricate design on it. This is a mermaid, so it's got more detail in it. I'm going to do the exact opposite that I did before. I'm going to loosen that up with my, I'm going to open up my, give me, myself some room here. I'm going to loosen up my set screw. Just enough to get that out. You don't have to take the set screw out each time. In fact, I suggest you don't. It's easier. It'll save you a little time. And then I've got the bigger stamp coming in. And again, I'm going to have to bring that set screw back just a little bit. So that the bigger stamp, and you'll hear it click up in there. And you want to press it to the back. And then again, hand tighten. Grab your socket. And now you're ready to go. Anytime you're using new stamps or a new product, I like to have a few, you know, um, remnants or blanks that I've used just until I get used to how it feels and what it's going to do on my image. So I'm just really going to turn this, this blank over, go back to where I was at right here. Okay. Now with this size of a stamp and a detailed image, I may need a little more torque on there. So I may have to really, once I get that in place, I may have to really do this. And you might even, depending on what you're using, you may even have to give it a few taps in order to get that solid image that you need and I've got a perfect good mermaid right there. And again, that's how easy it is. The last thing I just want to demonstrate, as we mentioned earlier, the square end on the press can accommodate both a round stamp and a square stamp. So same thing, again, so easy. Open up my base, 
I get this out, that stamp comes right out, and now I've got a round stamp going in that square hole, and I'm going to put it all the way until you hear that click, I'm going to put it towards the back, go ahead and set that screw, and if you need to, sometimes you may want to look, it looks like it's lined up pretty good before you tighten that up with that socket. And now you're ready to stamp again using a round scan stamp in the square hole. So your stamping is never going to be easier than it is now with this Arbor Press. It's going to save you time, money, and materials, and I think you'll find it a really great product to add to your stamping. So thanks for watching and happy stamping from the Supply Guy.